Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Oh, thank you. Today's message, the, I, I love so much this title of the, today's sermon, The Love of God. Yeah, you can enjoy. It, the miracle, a miracle is a sign. Sign, I would say, miracle is a sign that Jesus loved us. Jesus loved us. Uh, and a miracle is uh, an attribute of the kingdom of God. Attribute of the kingdom of the God. <laughs> Most important driving force of miracle is the love of God. That I'm going to preach now. Love of God. Yes, if you love, you'll be happy. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Huh? The Bible says, a new command I want to give you. Love one another. As I, will, as I have loved you. You must love each other. By doing this, all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. A socialist claims that three things are needed as a condition of happiness. Those are work, the hope, and uh, something that you love to the point where you can give your life hmm, to, to anything. Hmm? You to love to someone as you raise Jesus Christ. Anything you want to love, which means it's an object of faith. I would like to say this word, object of your faith. You, whether you love your children or the God whom you love, we need, you need to have something to love, to live happily. That's what I, we want. This is our life, to love Jesus and love the people. That's God's command. Jesus commanded us to love each the other. Hmm? Worldly people who doesn't believe God have something they love physically, but they don't know the spiritual thing. They don't, they don't know the spiritually. However, you and me, Christian, love Jesus, so we are happier, yeah, of course, we are much, much happier than those people don't know Jesus Christ, uh, yeah, I, you happy, I happy now, because our oh God make me happy in everyday life, hallelujah, <laughs> that's like, I'm preaching now, I'm very happy, I'm joyful in Jesus Christ, hallelujah, uh, that this is a reason we have we have Jesus, our Lord. Yeah, we love we love with our heart, our mind, our strength to the Jesus. That makes us happy. Yes. If we love Jesus, love makes you happy. That love is God. 
Love is Jesus. That law, this is a commandment by Jesus Christ that you sh must love one another. You will love in your heart. God's love is in you. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Amen. Can I have an amen? Oh, my, my God. Oh, thank you, Lord. If you love someone, you know, if you think love anything, someone you, you love, you will not be difficult. Hmm? No, I'm talking about. If you love God, you need to obey God's commandments. Huh? John 40, 50 says, If you love me, you will obey what I said to you. Hmm? Because you, you should obey the word God said. Because you, you love. God asked you, you should love me. You should keep commandment, what I said. Huh? It is for you, not me. <laughs> I'm telling you. Jesus is saying, keep commandment. If you love, you will be all right. Everything is okay. Your life is multiplying. And every day, you will be increased. Anything, materially, spiritually, financially, anything. If you keep my commandment, hmm? because you, you love me. Hallelujah. It's not hard to obey the commandment of someone, your friend, your, um, uh, your, your parents, whoever you love. It, it, it's not hard because you love the those whom you love. Because you, you love those people. Why, why is it hard to live in this life following Jesus Christ? If we say to believe in Jesus Christ, sometimes we are hard to, to follow Jesus to keep the commandment Jesus said. Why do we feel that we don't keep the commandment sometimes? Because I will say, you still do not love the Lord patiently. Am I right? Hmm? If you love God, you are worshiping on Sunday, sometimes Friday worshiping service, you would to, to have and Eagerly in the time the, the, the service, you eagerly desire to wait this service. Hmm? Oh, I want to worship uh, in presence of the Lord and lift the hand because I love the Lord. Uh, you will be happy, you will be joyful, you will be tremendously Feel that God's love in your heart. Hallelujah. Huh? Because you love God. You serve huh? Sunday. You eagerly desire to catch. And every serve the revival meeting you are waiting for to participate in this worship. Because you love God. Hmm? Because Peter and Paul loved Jesus Christ. To joyfully, they are joyfully carried out their mission of spreading the God, Jesus Christ, gospel to the all in the region. 
We are there walking. My mother and Mary saw the Lord well, very well, you know. This was not hard to them because they loved so much Jesus Christ. Priscilla and Akira supported the post mysteries, missionary work with their love. They were both you know, Christian and followed Paul's after believing in Jesus Christ. When Paul went to Ephesus, they went to Ephesus. They followed Paul wherever they go. Where where Paul go? Hmm? Paul went when Paul went to Corinthian, they went to Corinthian, helping helping Paul's um, ministry missionary work because they so much loved Paul. Hmm? They loved Paul with their souls. If you have a loving heart in Jesus Christ, I know you have much, much love in Jesus Christ. That's why you're listening. That's why you're watching my message. I believe. I love just That's why I'm preaching now. Hmm? I love this job. God has commanded me to preaching the, this the gospel to people who need you. Oh, hallelujah. You know, if you have a loving heart, your life of faith, your life of faith will not be hard, not difficult. It's easy. If you love someone, their faults are not sin. Love covered all their faults, mistakes they did. You don't see. You'll be blind if you love. someone to whom you love. If you love the someone, conflict, go away. Jealousy and criticism disappear. Huh? If you love someone, you will be able to understand him and cover all of the, their faults. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Huh? Conflict arise when the jealousy and arrogance arrow enter your heart. When you seek only your benefits, jealousy comes from the lack of love. Because lack of love, don't have the love in your heart. The jealousy and the conflict, any, anything in the bad, evil thing is come in the people's mind. Hallelujah. Let me tell you some example. Because Hagar was jealous of the Sarah, the, the house was not peaceful in their life, his life, her life. Lord was not at peace with Abraham because of his greed. Why the king Saul was jealous of David? He had not peace. Hmm? What happens if you have the heart of the Lord? You will have a heart to say even though they do not well, you will do well. You can say to them, uh, you will be okay even uh, uh, I, I, I'm going down. You will be increased. You will want to sacrifice, your, sacrifice yourself. For the someone you love, hallelujah. Oh, my mother. This love can change easily depend on circumstances. Oh, my hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My Lord, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, hallelujah. Love can be categorized in the four types. First is eros, 
Hmm? And second, phileo, you know, and the story is a uh, 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 story. And force agape. We love agape love. Yes, you have, I have agape love. Halle. This is sacrificial love. Sacrificial love, yes. This love is devoted, the loyal to the one's own country and the sacrifice for the church and Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, pray the Lord. Oh, my Lord, hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Let me tell you, let me finish. Let's, I, I want to give some example to those who the, love Jesus Christ and devote their life to the people, other people, the your Swatch, you know Swatch, he loved Africa. He sacrificed his love, his life in dead Africa. Pastor Young one son loved the people with the leprosy. He devoted his life for those leprosy in the island of Sorok. Hmm? We know how much Paul loved Jesus through his sacrifice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I know you love Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's, that's why the love of God is in you. The, you will love the someone because you will not fail to keep the command of Jesus. Command to you because God's love overflowing you. Thank you, Lord. See you later. Bye-bye.